Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, uh, now in this video we are going to see a small program where we can going to use two dimensional array. Here, this is the program where I'm having two dimensional arrays. Now, as it is having two dimensions, so these dimensions are being uh, shown by rows and columns, right? Which we have just seen in the theory. So, what I've done, uh, I'm having a class, two dimension. I'm having main method. Inside it, I'm having declaration over here of a two-dimensional array the name of the array is 2d then in the next state uh, in the next statement what i'm having it's a definition of the array so definition of array says that create an array with the rows 3 and columns 2 right we have already seen how the structure will be so how many rows will be there Three. and how many columns will be there two so row starts with 0 1 and 2 and columns 0 and 1 so now combinations will be what 0 row 0 column 0 row 1 column 1 row 0 column 1 row 1 column then 2 row 0 column 2 row 1 column okay and then i have initialized value to each and every element of this particular array now if you want to understand how will be the size of this particular array is being determined so what you have to do there is a formula formula is what number of rows multiply by number of columns so through three into 2 3 into 2 is 6 so that's why this particular array is of size 6 right and each of this particular row and columns is being depicted by giving proper index okay one thing you have to uh, keep in mind that index has to be given properly in two dimensional arrays as well as in one dimensional array otherwise you will be facing issues like array index out of bounds that means i'm having an array with a size of 10 and i'm trying to uh, access 11th element which is not there so what is going to happen you will be getting an exceptions errors like array index out of bounds so here now what i'm using for loops again to iterate over the array now here i have to make use of two for loops why because one for loop will iterate over the row and one for loop will iterate over the columns okay so basically you have to iterating over the row first and then you are picking each and every column of that so here that is why my first for loop is initialized with a 0 and it is having size of 3. That's why i, the condition is what? i less than 3. So I would say rows, 3 rows are there. So that's why it is starting with 0 and it will iterate like 0, 1 and then 2. Inside that you are having another for loop which will actually represent your columns so co how many columns i'm having two columns are there so that's why again it is going to start with index zero and condition is what j less than two okay now i'm having system uh, inside this inner for loop i'm having a system dot out dot print ln statement where it is printing index so index that is ith index and the jth index that is rows and the columns and then it is printing the actual value so to print the values how you can use array name then you have to provide row and then you have to provide the column so this is the way you are having and then you are having at the end of the uh, 
outer for loop one simple println statement it will just add a new line to the program okay so first we will see this particular part then i will show you uh, one more thing into this particular program okay so just compile this two dimension java okay so what i'm having here if you see index 0 0 then value 10 0 1 then 150 likewise i have printed this particular thing okay so this is the output which we have got, uh, got over here that is index we have got and all the values at particular index okay now here now i'm having one more thing that is for loop and for each loop okay so as i told that for each loop we can use with a one dimensional so here also i'm going to make use of it so i'm having normal outer loop this is just as uh, the previous portion now the column iteration i am doing by using for each loop okay so I'm having over here in J which is going to iterate on column basis okay but which column so for that you have to provide column of which row actually so that you have to provide over here so I'm having 2d i that is nothing but whichever is the row going on that value you have to go here you have to give here okay so initially it will be zero then it will eventually becomes one then two okay so eventually it will iterate to the first row then second and then third so it will print all the elements of first row then second row then third row okay and then the value of i is getting printed and outside of this particular loop you are having simple print as statement which gives new line so that is why in the course over here what you are getting c this j is first going to 2d of i that is zeroth row so in zeroth row how many columns are there two columns are there right and which is that uh, column 0 and column 1 so it is like 0 0 and 0 1 so that values are nothing but 10 and 150 right then it will iterate it will increment and then second row will be coming into the picture and then I'm again going to pass that column over here uh, sorry row over here and I'm going to iterate over the column so the values are 140 and 120 that is if 10 and 11 and then after that 20 and 21 so likewise you are getting values over here so this particular output is belongs to for each loop iteration okay so this is the way you can make use of two dimensional arrays with the loops with the for each loops 